What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today we are going to discuss some labor news that is going on. You know, in 2023, it is very refreshing to see and be able to learn about unions fighting for very good contracts for their members, and they're doing it publicly. I'll give you a case in point. The United Auto Workers, and before them, the UPS Teamsters. Now, we've been discussing for some time now that there is a sentiment amongst working people in this country right now that they haven't been getting a fair deal. And that sentiment is intuition coming to the realization of the reality that has come to fruition since these owners have fully purchased the levers of power and regulation that would ordinarily act as a choke to their ability to just siphon all of the wealth from this land up to their uh, safes, or their offshore havens and all that stuff. So in today's day and age, it is so refreshing to be able to find uh, labor leaders. And with the way people are coming to the realization that we've been getting screwed and wanting it, it's important that they can see the benefits of having a union fighting for you. Because anyone who's ever asked for a raise on their own knows it's not easy to go in and ask for a raise on your own and make the case. But with a union doing it through negotiations, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's a force uh, that we all have the right to. So let's dive into the article. Um, now, I'm a big proponent of labor, so I'm going to go straight to the United Auto Workers website. And um, here they have an article about what their president, President Fain, did. He went on Facebook Live and discussed the negotiations. So I'm going to read from this article. It says, President Fain on Facebook Live. Big threes, record profits mean record contracts. Whew. I l already love the strong language that you're hearing. President Sean Fain met with UAW members on Facebook Live last night and laid out the members' demands in big three bargaining. UAW members are thinking big, and the big three can afford it. I personally am of the opinion that every big business owner can afford it. Because they've been getting away from getting away with paying undervalue for far too long, and that's across the board. Look up Time Magazine's article about the fifty trillion dollars of wealth that was taken from the bottom ninety-nine percent and shot up to the top one percent, and you'll know or have an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. Let's keep going. Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis made a combined $21 billion in profits in just the first six months of this year. That's on top of the quarter trillion dollars in North American profits that the big three made over the last decade. Record profits mean record contracts, Fain said. In past negotiations, the UAW's core contract demands have been called the president's demands, and the union's president often delivered them to the company behind closed doors without even our elected national negotiators present. This year, President Fain shared them directly with the members on Facebook Live. He says, eliminate tears. It's wrong to make any worker second class. We can't allow it any longer in the UAW. The Teamsters ended tears at UPS. We're going to end tears at the big three substantial wage increases yes we're demanding double digit pay raises big three ceos saw their pay spike 40 percent on average over the last four years we know our members are worth the same and more restore cola it's cost of living adjustments that made sure working class communities thrived for decades Taking that away hammered us and our hometowns. It must be restored. So COLA is cost of living adjustments. Defined benefit pension for all workers. 
all workers deserve the retirement security that UAW members had for generations. We establish retiree medical benefits. That's just as essential as a solid pension. The right to strike over plant closures. The big three have closed 65 plants over the last 20 years. That's been as devastating to our hometowns as it has been for us. We have to have the right to defend our communities from the corporate greed that's killing so many cities and towns. Working Family Protection Program. It's a program that keeps UAW members on the job. If companies try to flee our hometowns, they'll have to pay UAW members to do community service work. Companies can still make a healthy profit and it'll keep our communities healthy too. End the abuse of temp workers. We are going to end the abuse of temps. Our fight at the big three is a fight for every worker. More paid time off to be with families. Our members are working 60, 70, or even 80 hours a week just to make ends meet. That's not living. It's barely surviving and it needs to stop. Significantly increasing retire pe retiree pay. We owe our retirees everything. They built these companies and they built our union. We will not forget them in these negotiations. That's from the, U the UAW website. I will post it in the description box. But this is refreshing so that the public can see that there are unions out there and that these unions negotiate for better pay and better living standards for their members. And then the public can see that being in a union is a really good thing and they can pine for a union of their own. And then the labor movement continues to grow and build. We have to ride the way, but you have to let the public see. The thing that grew the union so strongly in the early days was the public demonstrations of that labor solidarity. It was the public getting out in the streets and, and talking about the issues with the public and getting out into the public square and letting it be known what the problems are. We can't wait for the media to do it. They're not going to. We can't wait for newspapers to do it. They hardly do. We have to be the ones out there spreading the gospel of labor and the issues that we face as a labor movement. And with that in mind, I want to inform you about Local 26's call to action. This came across my uh, social media today and I want to share it with you. It's a call to action for Local 26 members at the King, uh, uh, regarding the King George Data Center. The King George Board of Supervisors will vote on a 7.25 million square foot AWS data center, September 5th, 2023. Join us at 5 p.m. King George Middle School, 8246 Dahlgren Road, King George, Virginia, 22485. You can RSVP to activism at ibewlocal26.org. This, this has the potential to bring 2,835 electrician jobs to the area. There will be food and refreshments provided and families are welcome. This is one of those deals where the bigger the numbers are, the more likely the decision will fall in favor of labor. Now this is gonna be good for our contractors. We're gonna be able to secure some work in King George, which is gonna provide work for our members. We talk about that symbiotic relationship and we have to get ourselves out there on the front line to be able to win these types of decisions. And who knows? This may end up also being a bargaining chip in a future negotiation between our local and the contractors because if our members show up and show out like we do at work, being profitable and putting together these amazing projects and doing such a great job, if when we have to come out into the community, into the board of supervisors meeting and get a vote passed in order to bring business, well, guess what? We're helping you again so now you can help us in return in, in the negotiating room. So my advice to all you local 26 members who happen to glance upon these this channel, come on out, make plans to come out to King George Middle School at 8246 Dahlgren Road, King George, VA 22485 and support labor, support the King George Data Center. This is an IBEW Local 26 call to action. My name's Eric. You're watching Union Minded. Remember, the fight's not left and right. It's up and down. It's going to take solidarity to win always. Each one, teach one, get out there and reach one. And remember, there can be no union without you and I front and center. Let's go.